If you're encountering stuttering in your apps or games, corrupt NVIDIA cache or Direct3D cache could be the problem. Data corruption can occur from blue screens, game crashes, benchmarks, or due to unstable overclocks. Today, we're going to quickly go through how to clear your NVIDIA cache and Direct3D cache on a Windows 11 and Windows 10 PC. This guide is based on NVIDIA's R550 driver set, beginning with version 551.23. Keep watching and later in the video, I'll show you how to exclude the NVIDIA folders as well as GTA 5 and 5M in Windows Defender. You'll also get to know how to exclude directories or apps that you may want to do in Windows Defender. At any rate, let's get started. Make sure all apps including games are closed and not running. Open the NVIDIA control panel. If you have Windows 11, right click on the desktop, go to show more options and go to the NVIDIA control panel. If you have Windows 10, right click on the desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. Go to 3D settings, then go to manage 3D settings. From the global tab, under settings, scroll down to shader cache size. Click on the drop down arrow and choose disable. At the bottom, click apply. Close NVIDIA control panel. Next, we'll open disk cleanup. Go to the search bar and find Disk Cleanup. Open the app. Select the Windows drive. For most, it will be your C drive. Click OK. For the purpose of cleaning the NVIDIA cache and Direct3D cache, we'll only select DirectX Shader Cache. Make sure only the DirectX Shader Cache is checked and hit OK. When prompted to permanently delete the files, click on Delete Files. Disk Cleanup will take a moment, and once it's done, Disk Cleanup will close. Next, we'll clear any residue of the NVIDIA and DirectX 3 cache files. Go to Windows Explorer or File Explorer. In the address bar, type in percent local app data percent, no spaces, and hit enter. Go to the NVIDIA folder. Open the GL cache folder. Select everything. This can be done by pressing Ctrl and the A keys together. Once everything is selected, right click on the files. And for Windows 11 users, go to Show More Options, then click on Delete. Go back to the local folder. Go to the D3DS Cache folder. Select everything here. Right click on the files. And for Windows 11 users again, go to Show More Options, then click on Delete. Click on the App Data folder. Go to the Local Low folder. Open the NVIDIA folder. Open the Per Driver Version folder and then open the DX cache folder. Select everything. Right click on the files, and if you receive an error, all we're doing is deleting the files. Click OK. For Windows 11 users, go to show more options, then click on delete. If you have an error, the file may be in use. You may need to reboot your computer and try again. If you still receive an error on after reboot, don't worry about it. Go back to the app data folder. Go to the roaming folder. Open the NVIDIA folder, and go to the Compute Cache folder. I don't have any files here at the moment, but if there were files here, I would right click on the files, and again, Windows 11 users will need to click on Show More, and then choose Delete. Close Windows Explorer or File Explorer. Next, we'll re-enable the shader cache. Go back to the NVIDIA control panel. Go to 3D Settings, then go to Manage 3D Settings. From the Global tab under Settings, scroll down to Shader Cache Size. Click on the drop down arrow and choose driver default. Note, some may prefer a cache size greater than the default of 4GB. At your discretion, you can select a higher limit. At the bottom, click apply and close NVIDIA control panel. But what if you want to try to squeeze more performance out of your apps or games? If you're using Windows Defender in Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can add exclusions to stop Windows Defender from scanning certain files or folders. I've made a file to quickly add the NVIDIA folders and Direct3D cache folders to Windows Defender. This can save time from doing it manually. The only risk is if you get a virus on your PC and it is somehow placed in these folders or has an NVIDIA file name. Keep in mind, making this change is done at your own risk, so if you don't do your due diligence, checking what websites you go to, then skip this part. For those that want to proceed anyway, or just want to get some information out of it, here's how you make the change. First, I'll put a link to the make the changes in the video description. Open PowerShell as administrator and copy and paste the first add exclusion section. If you play GTA 5 or 5M, you can add those entries if you wish. 
In the event you want to undo this, simply copy and paste the remove exclusion sections. You can look at the current exclusion list from Windows Security. Go to the search bar and type Windows Security. Go to Virus and Threat Protection. Under Virus and Threat Protection Settings, go to Manage Settings. Scroll down to Exclusions. Go to Add or Remove Exclusions. You'll see a pop-up from Windows User Account Control. Click Yes when prompted to continue. If any exclusions are present, you will see them here. You'll notice everything that was added was what we went through earlier, plus additional NVIDIA folders. Let's say you want to add an exclusion for an app. Click on Add Exclusion. If you want a specific app, you will want a process. Click Process. You will need to specify a process name. Let's say you don't know the name. One way to find out is by running the app and checking Task Manager. Right click on the taskbar and go to Task Manager. Go to the Details tab. Let's say we want Notepad to be excluded. The app name is notepad.exe. Write or type it somewhere. Now switch back to Windows Security, enter the process name notepad.exe and click Add. That's it. If you want to remove the app, simply find the app in the exclusion list. Click on the down arrow and choose Remove. For files or folders, you will need to browse for the files or folders. The process is the same to remove them. Now that's a basic summary of how to add or remove exclusions in Windows Defender. I hope this has helped you. I hope you're getting more performance and I hope the set of problems are addressed for you. If this video has helped you, consider giving it a like. If you have ideas on future videos, let me know in the comments. Subscribe and turn on the bell if you want to see future videos. Follow me on X and Twitch for updates. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you later.